like in a suburban neighborhood and like we had this small rowboat and we all would take it and put it in the backyard and we used to get our fishing rods and cast and like cook on the fish like leaves acting like we're fishing because we didn't live near any bodies of water or any like ponds or lakes ever since i was little my dad taught me as we got older, my older brother started learning more about different ways how to catch them. And then he would teach my other older brother and it would just go down the line of like teaching and teaching and teaching. As we got a little bit older, we started like expanding what we wanted to do. So like we started catching rockfish, which is like something called striped bass. We will catch Spanish mackerel, red drum, black drum, sheep's head. So since like my dad taught me to do that and where I'm from taught me a different thing, now I can teach like my kids how to catch what I've learned from saltwater and freshwater together. time you're casting out there and the water's touching your hands your hands gets numb you're really like that and you're shaking it's addiction to be honest it's not necessarily like you catching the fish it's you hunting the fish it's like really cool but my favorite moment is like right when it takes it and you set that up and you feel the line tense you feel a pull it's just it, it drives you it's like a drug it's addiction i just love it from the beginning i love the excitement of it and what's good is the, the hope you have no idea what's in that water. Like, I can't even explain. I have stories that are insane. Like, I mean, from bull sharks to gators, from alligator snapping turtles. I mean, catfish the size of your body that you don't even expect to live in that small five foot creek. Yeah. A lot of times people say like, God closes a door and he opens a new one. I realize when you cast out there and you're using that lure and that fish takes it and he snaps the line, you're like, that is the biggest fish. That's the greatest opportunity to catch that. And you catch your line out at a different time in a different direction where you were casting before and you catch them in a bigger one, it's even more special to you. So like, so definitely in life, like how God will close that door or God will be that line that snaps on that big thing you wanted, that big job, that car, that girlfriend, that, that opportunity that was a fish that got let loose and gone. And then you redirect your focus on God and God will send your line in that certain way and you get that bigger fish, the one that God wants for you, which is a better direction for you.